What's going on everybody? Welcome for the first time or back to another DLJ Works video and I'm gonna jump right into this quick Not further ado. This video is for is about you screen for the DIYers and home improvement space those who are occupying this if you're in this Field you screen can also still be a very good benefit for you Especially if you have a small if you're a mom-and-pop shop, you're a small company, you're an indie company, you're independent <laughs> And you know you're you're very much so niche. You're not trying to compete with home improvement, Lowe's, or that sort of those sort of establishments. This is this is a video where I just had some ideas uh, with me being involved with UScreen and helping people build their UScreen sites and giving recommendations and all those sorts of things. And these are just some ideas and things I've been thinking about in terms of how can you actually use UScreen to benefit your business in this space. And we're, we are going to examine just using Home Depot as an example. And I'm going to kind of match this up and, and give you those ideas and what I had in mind for those in the home improvement space. Now, you screen always has pictures of those who are in fitness and uh, entertainment or whatever the case may be. But I think this is going to be a really good thing to look at to give those people ideas and how to really expand their media side. If you know who Patrick Beck David is, he used to have PHP. I think he since sold that company, which was a financial services company. And now he just focuses on value tainment, um, serving people with his business wisdom and ideas and expanded ever since then. So I'm going to show you how to actually use Uscreen, um, not just for free and having your content on YouTube, but to really make premium content and everything else for the back end using this platform. So create a media wing of your home improvement business that sells tools. Or whatever the case may be. So when I say look at create a media wing, if we look at Home Depot, I can go to their DIY projects and we can just go to home entertaining or something. Or we can go to dining room. All right. What they're going to have is they're going to have a library of videos showing you what you can do and um, to in order to what is this dining room ideas and, and projects and that sort of thing. So here's what I would do. OK, because this is really good, you know, and this is all for free. This is for free on their website that you can actually view and look at. Unless I'm wrong. Let's click on a video. All right. All right. All on YouTube for free. Content is out there. Great. They're building trust. Um, Home Depot has been around for a long time. So that this is just utilizing YouTube is just an extension or whatnot because they've been out for a while. But you, my person friend. <laughs> Who is on uh, who has your business and maybe you don't know how to make YouTube videos or maybe you haven't started building that trust you know this is something that you can actually do but I'm gonna show you how to even take it to a further level so you can continue to even increase your revenue using you screen by doing even more than this so if you look at uh, let's say for example you know maybe you're a vase maker maybe all you're doing is just making vases okay so if that is your wing, that is your specific niche that you're going down, then what you can actually do is you can actually make content. You can make content right here on YouTube, and we're going to take a look at Home Depot's channel in a little bit, but just a channel about making vases and different types of vases that can be made, different types of unique things, some basics, you know, how to get started, what type of uh, molding do you need, what 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 would be the investment cost in order to have your own in-home you know vase maker in order to rotate the pottery or, or however that goes you know if that's all you're focused on and that is your area you wouldn't be competing against somebody like Lowe's or Home Depot because you're only focused on the vase side where well, you can do the basics of you know uh, product videos that go on YouTube giving people a very basic and intermediate tutorial or even something entertaining like some home improvement show or whatever you want to do you can give people a taste of it YouTube should only be used in this case to lure and entice the trust building process have a couple of project ideas in terms of how you can actually do something very colorful with your vases but for your more premium and advanced stuff you know how do you make a hundred vases in a day how you make, you know, a thousand vases in a week or something like that in order to build something very unique. That type of content would go into your Uscreen platform. And what I have here is I have it on my collection side because on Uscreen, you're able to actually do a lot of things within it. Besides just offering a monthly fee, you can actually create collections. And within those collections, you can organize them. You can sell them as individual courses. 
here I have just two examples you know uh, this is just for demo purposes only so if I go into this if I go to edit and I go to pricing you see that you can enable a one-time purchase um, and you it has to require it has to require access you know you don't want a subscription plan at all you want to enable a one-time purchase for this whole entire collection that maybe have like five videos or whatever the case may be so if I go to details I'm sorry playlist so if I go to the playlist and I and all of the videos that I have within this playlist under this one single collection then that seven like let's say if it was seven videos let's say if it was a, a vase course that you was teaching on how to actually from you know step one all the way down to step five in order to make a hundred vases in a day if that's even possible um at different colors at certain temperatures or whatever else the case may be you know you could sell that seven video course through your platform without offering a monthly subscription fee to your your customers you know you can utilize this to do that all right you can make it a one-time purchase because if they're only there for that one thing you want to give people that that opportunity without having to pay a monthly fee then that's going to be a huge huge opportunity to offer you know you want to have though you want to be able to build a loyal following already if you you already got your customers just to walk in if you're a brick and mortar location or even if you're an e-commerce store you want to already have that loyal following going uh, maybe already just through the shopping experience alone that you're giving them in those arenas but if you have something on youtube you want to provide like videos that come off as you not trying to sell anything if that makes sense it's just purely educational you're enriching you're making a person feel smarter and more creative and they're leaving better than what they were before they even got into the videos you know that's what you want to actually do and like hope depot has about 509,000 subscribers and if you look at their playlist you know we can go to the um i'm not gonna really play this all the way for all right for just copyright purposes or whatever else i'm not even gonna play this but this right here gives kind of a very if i skip around okay this is like you know some sort of um how should i say uh what, what show can i actually put on to this the day in the life or whatever the case may be this is going behind actual employees story in a very like three minute fashion or whatever and it is providing something else that's that's not trying to sell specifically to the viewer here's what i would do though i would take every item um specifically you know here's the grand idea that i actually had i would take every item you know that i'm selling if i'm if i'm a small hardware store whatever the case may be a small home improvement store i would make a micro mini course for every single item that i actually have and make unique content maybe showing people some sort of like a reality show using this this type of thing or using this drill or using this lawnmower or whatever and and cutting grass and make a nice little story from it like going door to door trying to you know get people to get customers in, in terms of cutting their grass or something like that and and how exciting that is and the rejection and building on top of that i'll just come up with something you know unique and just far out there in order to do something differently that nobody is doing when it comes to these these content pieces you know in terms of really building your media side with this because as a DIYer you can do some unique things to really attract and make yourself stand out and build even more of a connection with your customer base so that's what I'm talking about produce premium content on you screen showing people how to advance building the things so that's one of the things we just talked about and you can either have people pay that monthly or one-time fee for a specific curation of content on your you screen platform which is what I just mentioned if you're trying to actually have if you're trying to show people um, a single course so if, let's say for example again um, if I was to go to uh, let me go to wall decorations wall murals all right what I would do is like this bamboo prophecy piece of film I would make a course about this I would just sit up here now and I'll make some content think totally outside the box like you know maybe um, tearing down a whole uh, bathroom wall or something like that and you know I, I'm probably saying this this wrong or whatnot though but this is this is a wall mural so 
how would I set this up? How would I like go through the process? Like, would I invite some people, make it a party, and we all just set up this wall mural, and you know, we're just trying to find some way to make this not only informational but entertaining, edutainment. You know, to teach people how to set up this wall mural, I'll make some like event, either a, a basic video course, throw up a couple of like short videos on YouTube, but then like you know, in the YouTube video, I will link it back to my U screen if you want to really see some. Uh, different content you want to see how this is done in a more fun and um, in, in attractive way how to actually make the wall mural stick to your ceiling or whatever the case may be and these are some other creator ideas then you can become and, and check out our you screen platform you can check out our whatever the name of your you screen platform is um, um, wall murals dot us <laughs> whatever dot com wall murals at us.com or something that's the name of your you screen platform so i would take every product here and i would find some way to make a micro or um short set of videos and sell them as a course on you screen and offer some short clips on youtube or do some blog posts somewhere else and just entice people to kind of give them a taste and just continue to build that trust that you're you know you're not technically selling them in that but you're offering an extension if they're interested in getting more information and really wanting to come out even more creative and imaginative through your videos, that's going to be offered on the Uscreen platform. So, and though at the end of the day, though, your media, whatever you create with using Uscreen, and you got those customers. But the difference is, is that Home Depot is a brick and mortar franchise. It has uh, companies, you know, buildings all across the, the nation. They've been around for a while, but you as a small business person in this space, in the home improvement DIY space, and that's that's how you're offering, you know, you with you screen, you'll be able to have another revenue stream that's going to come in and help you build or keep a consistent monthly revenue stream coming. That's going to be in addition to the business that you're actually running. And who knows, maybe even over time, you may even sell the the business of selling these tools and just focus on the actual media side like Patrick Beck David did when he sold PHP and now he's just only running value tainment. But the biz media is going to feed your business because it's going to bring in more customers. It's going to bring in new people and show that you're doing things differently and more creative. And then that business is going to feed your medium as you're constantly getting an increase in customers, uh, loyalty sales and everything else. More people are going to come into your media side or you screen and continue to subscribe and become Laurel um, on that on that back end as you help and teach your customers how to do more with your products that they didn't think about on how to use them before that will help keep that will keep them loyal and continue buying from you so for those of you out there who did not know that you can actually utilize you screen if you're in a DIY or home improvement space this video is definitely for you if you've been interested in trying to learn how to video monetize your stuff um this is a good way for you to do it now i'm not gonna lie to you um when you're purchasing a you screen they have different let me actually go to let me go to their pricing structure so you're aware of this so i can be very transparent because this isn't this is not going to be cheap and it depends on what you actually want to do if you're but i'm speaking to those who actually have the resources the funds to take it to the next step this would be the next step that you would do in terms of providing premium content you know you can get on their growth plan or you can just if you want you screen plus you want a mobile app you want the streaming app so you people can access you from the phone on the go wherever the case may be um you're going to have to book a demonstration and you know you're going to have to actually contact them or you can just get on their growth plan which i set this for the annual fee which comes out to if I was to go to start a free trial and you can go to their full feature list. Oh, it just takes me. It took me back to my dashboard because I'm, I'm signed in right now. So. Um, so, yeah, it's only going to so for now, it's only going to take me right here to the back end and everything else. But one hundred fifty nine dollars a month, you pay an annual fee, whatever that much that's going to turn out to be or whatnot. So, you know. It's this you have to have the money in order to this is going to be a startup cost if you're trying to get on and use you screen for their features uh, with their uh, 10 admin users 150 hours of uh, video storage community e-commerce integrations Zapier and webhooks third-party integrations affiliate integrations. so if you you know want to 
go ahead and get people to get affiliates to bring in other people, then this is something that you could look into to help with sales and to help increase traffic and getting more memberships and subscribers onto your platform with you screen. But yeah, this is like I said, I wanted to be fully transparent to let you know that this is not going to be cheap. It's affordable if you're a small business getting started and everything else, but you have to understand and know what your startup costs are and what you need to do before you even jump on the bandwagon for this. All right. Um, if you are interested in everything in that video, kind of sparked some ideas, start, started to get those gears turning and help you to see like the sky's the limit, you know, you just stretched your imagination. Then I do have an affiliate link in the pinned comment below for you to check out or in the description, whatever serves your boat, whatever serves your fancy, uh, both links are available there. Um, in order for you to go ahead and get started with Uscreen. That's